Hey, Neo Wrestling fans, Topher Whiteman here with the infamous Jay Moore. Christmas is almost here, so we've decided to give you, the fans, a special gift. Our December 2012 show, Hardcore Holiday, in its entirety. And the best present of them all is I'm on commentary. Yeah, let's get the show underway with our first contest. Here he comes, the human juggernaut, Notorious T.I.D. Topher Whiteman, you can't say it like that. That is Notorious T.I.D. Look at him, the human juggernaut. That's what I said. A little more enthusiasm is all I'm saying. This is Notorious T.I.D., a legend around here in Ontario, as we all know. Come on, the monster here in Neo Wrestling. Yeah, the man behind the mask, Notorious T.I.D., is a force to be reckoned with, to say the least. And on top of that, he's facing Nick Vickers. I love to see Nick Vickers get beat here. Well, actually, Jay, I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Nick Vickers wasn't feeling well. He's actually got a case of the flu. Kind of goes around this time of year. <laughs> oh, come so on. He had to cancel. You're kidding me. Nick Vickers has a flu. Of course he does. And we'll see what Tid has to say in response to that. Actually, he is sick. One other person who's afraid, Crazy Steve. Crazy Steve already has a match tonight. And I've gone to the people in charge of Neo Wrestling Federation, and I've said to them, if Nick Vickers isn't here tonight, give me a match. I don't care who it is, anybody, anywhere. You know what they said? We got nothing. So I'm gonna go into the back, or I'm gonna grab somebody from out here. Thank oh you. I hope not him. I should hope he does him. Within an inch of their life. <laughs> you wait right here. I'm not one to disobey a man of his size. Or statue. Well, he might take you out, Topher White, but I'd love to see that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to disappoint him. That wouldn't be a very good uh, contest for Notorious T.I.D. One of these fans are in for a major beating if they accept this challenge. I can't believe this. I wouldn't want to have any part of this. Who's going to accept? You'd have to be crazy to say yes. No pun intended. The fans are backing off. They want no part of this. Oh, he was, that's Steve, one of our security guards. He, oh! And he just got slapped. Oh, yeah. Steve's in big trouble now. What Look at this. CID doing? No, Steve's not a, a wrestler. He's he's a student at the Neo Dojo. He's security. Well, he show. was mouthing off to Tid. Tid just slapped him right across the face. Referee Brian Renda calling for the bell. This match is underway. You better get out of there, Topher yeah, White Man. I'm getting out of dodge, no doubt about that. Oh, I love I love for Titty grab you. Well, right now he's got a hold of our security. Oh. Guard. <laughs> a big forearm there, right to the forehead. Yeah, this isn't a. This oh, the isn't kid's out. The guy's oh. out. This is a security. This is an official contest. Referee Brian Renda called for the bell. This is more of a beating than anything else, though. Well, I gotta give him credit. I mean, Nick Vickers didn't even show up tonight. Too yeah. scared to get in the ring with Notorious TID. Well, come on. Nick Vickers had the flu. He's a coward. Vickers is a coward. 
Trust me, I know Topher Whiteman. I'd say you just gotta give the guy a break. Come on. Everyone's allowed sick days, right? Look at this. Oh! <laughs> oh, I bet I'm wishing, Steve's wishing he called in sick right now. Oh, he's... He can't even see where he is right now. Oh, on a forearm. Well, listen, nobody stops Notorious T.I.D. Do you think a guy like this is going to do something against uh, Ted? Absolutely not. Oh, what's he setting up for here? Could this be the muscle buster? It is the muscle buster, Topher Whiteman. Look at this. This is the end of this guy. Say goodnight to Steve. Here we go. Yeah, Steve. Looks like you're dead. Oh, huge muscle buster. That's it. Yeah, he is not, dead. He's, he's not, not even moving, over. Topher Whiteman. Here we go for the cover now. Notorious TID. Yeah, one, two. This one's over. Well, an easy win, but an impressive one nonetheless. TID made quick work of that rookie. Well, what is James Ponce going to do about this? We do got to find some opponents for Notorious TID. Crazy Steve doesn't want to face him anymore. Nick oh. Vickers didn't even show up to the building. Oh, make no mistake, if Crazy Steve and Notorious TID were in the building together, there would definitely be some mayhem. Neo officials are having a hard time keeping these two away from each other. Never mind, in the ring. You can't keep those two away from each other. It's too bitter, it's too much of a war. It's never gonna end. You know something, Tober Whiteman? Hey, I know that guy. I like these guys. Yeah, you would. This is a great tag team. For those who don't know, that is the infamous Jay Moore, the man with me by the tree right now, welcoming Andrew Davis and Scotty Turner to the ring. And look how cool Scotty Turner's looking. Look at this team. They're great. I'm signing autographs. Is that what that is? They love us. You're looking at the next Neo Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. I don't know if they love you, Jay. That sign just said you need to get a life. <laughs> yeah. See that one over there? With, with the diaper and, a, and some hair. Is that hair in your head? Yeah, it's not even me. I don't know what that kid's trying to prove. That's, that's got to be one of the funniest signs I've ever seen, nonetheless. No offense, Jay. Hey, none taken. It's not even me. I don't have hair. You know, the kid's trying to be funny. They, 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 they're, doing, they're doing this to me every month. I'm getting sick and tired of it, to be honest with you. It's kind of funny. We're about to have a conversation. It's like deja vu, Topher Whiteman. Or whatever. True, Tover. You have to insult the fans. Then. Do you think I give a damn about what you write about me on Facebook? I'm a superstar on Facebook because all you marks are writing about us each and every day. Bunch of no life losers talking about us, paying money to see us, and you want to disrespect us by walking in. Are you laughing, Topher? It's a funny cool. sign. Buddy, and I'm talking to you right in the back. Your son is a loser oh. for walking in here and disrespecting infamous Jay Moore. You understand me? A loser. Come on, 
That's that's so mean, Jay. He's he, a kid. he is a loser. Look at him. He's like ten years old, Max. Well, is that his name? Roughly perfect, yeah. Well, Jay, I'm not going to lie. You do manage a good roster. Both Andrew Davis and Scotty Turner competed on our VIP show before General Admittance opens, and they were both victorious in their matches. However, their two opponents asked for a rematch, a tag team rematch, and they were granted it. No, I'm serious, guys. Andrew Davis. See what's so funny, Jay? Well, exactly. You're laughing about a, a guy with a sign. Look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. These are two of the brightest stars on the Neo Dojo roster. You know, it's just, it's amazing to me uh, what goes on with James Ponce in charge now. You know, he can't find opponents for Tid, he can't find opponents for us, and we end up with this. This is like a uh, show after show, we're ending up with these kids the Neo kids, the Dojo kids. Why would Scotty Turner and Andrew Davis have matches with these dojo jabronis? Well, initially, these were matches before the show. The VIP matches and the available for the VIP ticket holders. Well, the VIP ticket holders, as I uh, understand it, are for us. They come to see Jay Moore and my family, my crew, yeah. my boys. Look at you in a diaper right there. All I'm saying is the kids in the Neo Dojo are doing a great job. You can, shouldn't call them kids because they are adults, most of them. You know, a, a guy like Jackson Jarvis, for him to have the gall to go out and, and bring that sign up to the ring shows a disrespect to a legend like myself, Scotty well, Turner and Andrew Davis. They usually rip up the signs. Why didn't you rip that one up? The kid taped it. <laughs> can you believe it? I'm sure he had a couple signs ripped in the past and he learned from his mistakes. Well, his, his biggest mistake is going to be I'm not even going to allow him in the building next show. He's banned from Neo Wrestling. The kid is banned from Neo Wrestling really? Federation. That's right. We'll see who has stroke around here. I don't think Neo Management will ban him for making funny signs. He's done, Topher. He's done. Get me James Ponce on the phone. Well, we have a tag team match underway right now. Andrew this Davis ain't a match. This is Andrew Davis and Scotty Turner doing a little warm-up here. This ain't no match. Well, no, their warm-up was before the show. They faced both these men. Trust me, this is a warm-up for these guys. They were victorious in their matches, but Cole Stark and Jackson Jarvis. Cole Stark is what his name is? Yeah, the show stealer. The show stealer. Look at the condition of Andrew Davis, and look at the condition of the show stealer, Cole Stark. I don't think so, Trevor Whiteman. <laughs> well, sure, Andrew Davis and Scotty Turner keep their physiques great. And Jackson Jarvis has a great physique himself. Look how Turner got in the ring there. Let's stop with your, with your nonsense. Yeah, well, Turner definitely has been well-traveled these past few months. He, he just got back from Mexico, as you know. I was just going to say, he was in Mexico, and he made quite a name for himself down there. And guess what? He's going right back to Mexico. They want him over there. But, of course, he came in for Neil. Of course, he came in to team up with Andrew Davis. I think he's a cool cat. Well, definitely a, a sneaky maneuver there, back chopping Cole Stark. The show's that was there. sneaky? That was sneaky. Yeah, Cole that was Why don't these kids smarten up? We're going to we're gonna take them to school. you got to have eyes in the back of your head. This is a tag team match. you got to be aware of what's going on. These are students that don't know what's going on, so Andrew Davis and Scotty Turner are going to show them exactly how it's done. Okay, you can't take them to school. They're already at school. The Fight Club. Oh! Also home. Oh, what a chop there. Home of the Neo Dojo, where both these men train. It was quite a competitive class there. There's definitely a lot of up-and-coming great 
future Neo stars. Sure, I, 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 I will not disagree with you on that, Tober Whiteman. Of course, Neo, the Neo Dojo is the best of the best as far as the school goes. But the show stealer and the professional aren't just, they just are not ready for a team like Sky Turner and Andrew Davis. They just aren't. As far as I'm concerned, Turner and Davis should be facing the tag team champions right now. Well, no, the tag team champions are booked in a street fight. That's going to be a little later on. The Italianos defending against the Piss Beaters. As Andrew Davis now, tandem offense with Scotty Turner going to work on the arm of the show stealer. And that's what you call a tag team. Keeping their opponent in their corner, cutting off the ring, quick tags in and out. This is the best tag team Neo Wrestling Federation's ever had. No doubt about it. Well, Jay, why don't they have the belts so? then? Well, look at what the office is doing. They can't even get uh, their own guy's opponents. Jay, they had a tag title match just a few months ago, and they lost. They are on their way back up to a title shot now. Hmm. You're just mad because you know I'm right. No, I just, you know, you always come up with this information that I don't even recall a match, a title match. I just recall that these guys have been undefeated since I've managed them. I mean, Scotty Turner, Andrew Davis, they ran Nick Vickers so far gone that he won't even show up anymore. <laughs> For the last time, Vickers got sick. He has the flu. Vickers got sick. He's a professional wrestler. Sick? Come on. If you had the flu, would you be out there yelling at ringside? Look at the side headlock applied by Scotty Turner. Wow, beautiful takedown. It was a beautiful takedown, you're right. Scotty Turner picked up a lot of knowledge from his time in Mexico. And how dare this guy call himself a professional? Just breaking into the business? Well, he has wrestled on our shows before. If you'll remember back to the summer, he wrestled RJ City. Uh, did he win that one? Uh, he did not, no. RJ exactly. City was successful in winning that one. I don't think he's been successful yet. I remember Tyson Dukes taking this guy to school. Embarrassing the professional. Yeah, that was a VIP match a few months ago. Well, we do what we can for our fans. Now, Andrew Davis back in there, side headlock applied. Jarvis on the mat, almost in a pinning position. Referee Bruno Davis calling it as it lies. Jay, and he's not even breaking his sweat. Look at him. Jay, maybe you could tell me. Is there any relation between Andrew Davis and Bruno Davis? Uh, could be. Could be. Could all be a coincidence, right? What does it matter to you? They look like brothers. I'm Why just do you always try to snoop into my business and what I do? Well, I thought you'd know he's one of your clients. It doesn't matter. All that matters is right now is Andrew Davis tagging out to Scotty Turner, and here comes Turner. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Jarvis is in a rough spot now on the opposite side of the corner. He's not anywhere near the show stealer, his partner. Well, that's what tag team wrestling is all about. Keeping him in that corner, Bruno Davis doing what he can. Taking Andrew Davis, Andrew yeah. Davis. A lot of quick tags, a lot of quick back and forth tagging between these two guys. This is easy work for the team of Turner and Davis. I mean, I haven't even seen the professional mount on any offense. Here comes Turner off the ropes now. Oh, Whoa, wait a minute. That's not offense, but that's evasive right there. And he got the tag in. Here comes the show stealer with a big shoulder block. Come on, Andy, come on. Laying into Andrew Davis. Off the ropes, Turner with the feet. Oh, no. Oh! Davis. Big slam. Turner with a headbutt. On oh, Andrew Davis. That's smart there, going after the professional so Scotty can get the pinfall. That's it, baby. Turn out the lights. The party's yeah. over. And you didn't even have to get involved. Why would I get involved? I've never gotten involved in a match. Davis and Turner are your winners. And now again, Turner grabbing the camera. That's the 2 cam. Well, actually, it's the Turner cam. We have our own camera now. Really? Neil just wants a camera on us. The Turner cam. The Turner cam, that's right. He should be in Hollywood. Well, he's in Mexico. Isn't that close to Hollywood? Closer than here? I don't think he has time for Hollywood, to be honest.
it is. And there you are, Jay. Yeah! Doing a little bit of business, Topher. Back out for more, eh? No pun was intended there either. Show gets bigger and bigger, because here we have Cody Diener. Oh, come on. <laughs> you shouldn't do things like that to children. Hey, the kid asked for it. He just wanted a high five. What is he asking for? It? Again. I really don't see anything wrong with it. I think Cody's the man. Yeah, he high five me. Don't you know what that gesture means, Jay? Oh, I love it. I love it. Don't you even know what you're saying to those kids? Yeah, I'm just saying I. It's a cool way of doing it. It's a Diener way of doing it. We got style. We got pizzazz. We're a good unit together. Come on. Come on, Topher. Admit it. Admit for once. Well, you had some success. Cody Diener competing in the main event of our last show, Crossroads, was unsuccessful in capturing the Neo Heavyweight title, though. So I can't give you guys full credit. Now, why are you always in Cody's face? Okay, Cody's in my face. Well, you started it. I just try to do my job as an announcer. I love what Cody does this to you. I sit down, Topher. <laughs> no, this isn't. This isn't funny. This isn't. You know. <laughs> I think. I think he's a nice guy. Have a seat. Relax a little bit. I did. Why don't you listen to him? I'm supposed to announce from the center of the ring. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Of course, Neo fans are no stranger to Crazy Steve, one of the most strange individuals here at Neo. Well, you got that right. Unpredictable is a word I like to use for Crazy Steve. I don't know where he's coming from ever. Oh, like his theme song says, that boy needs therapy. Is Steve yelling at you too? Yeah, I couldn't catch a break this night. You don't listen to anybody, do you? Thank you. Thank you. 
Now, what we need to do to complete the last piece of this puzzle is for you, TID, to put on your stupid mask, put on your stupid t-shirt, and then, then, then we can commence and be decorating the halls with your insides. Put it on. It's pretty gross. Decorate the halls with his insides? Put it on. It would be a family show then. Well, I don't even know what's going on here. I don't understand Crazy Steve with this notorious TID bit. This is Cody Dana for one thing. I, and I gotta be honest with you, Tilver, I don't even feel comfortable being out there with a guy like Crazy Steve. Like, what is this about? Well, Crazy Steve's a little offbeat, but usually he means well. This is meaning well? This is insulting to Cody Dana as no, far as I'm concerned. I'm not concerned. saying to his opponent, but I'm saying to me, you know, others at ringside. He means well. He's a nice guy. He means well. You screwed up and did the job wrong. <laughs> and how's Cody Diener is Cody Diener. What more do you want from me? How did I know Crazy Steve had some twisted idea to play dress up with Cody Diener? This is ridiculous. Crazy Steve's a loose cannon. Does he actually expect that Cody Diener is going to put on that stupid mask and the stupid shirt? Not that it's stupid, but really, that's Cody Diener. I think if Diener knows what's better, what's good for him, he'll uh, he better put it on. Come on, you didn't just say that, did you? Come on now. I know what Crazy Steve is capable of. If there's one thing Crazy Steve's not, it's stupid. This match is officially underway now. Crazy Steve has a sleeper hold locked in. He is frantic trying to grab the ropes. But to no avail, Crazy Steve's got him right in the center. And this one could be over early if Cody Dino passes out. Well, Brian Rendon doing absolutely nothing to check if that's a choke or anything like that. Just sitting there, like, like this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Him thinking it's Notorious TID. When they went to check the arm there, but Steve doesn't want him to do it. Referee Brian Rennes should have disqualified Crazy Steve right then and there. This match should be over. Well, he should have checked the arm, but Crazy Steve wasn't going to let him. He should be disqualified. The wrestler is going to tell the referee what the rules are? Uh-oh. Diener's unconscious. He's unable to defend himself. So he's not going for the pin here. It looks like... This is embarrassing, man. He's putting the shirt of Notorious T.I.D. on Cody Diener. He really is playing dress-up. This is ridiculous. Yeah, there's no disqualifications for something like this. And there may be some foreign objects to Cody Diener, but... As long as he's not using them as a weapon, this is going to be perfectly legal. Oh, there's that signature skull mask. It's just disrespectful, that's what it is. You're in the ring with a, a, a man from television, a superstar, that's Cody Diener. You mean Notorious T.I.D.? No, I mean Cody Diener. Well, he looks like T.I.D. to me. Crazy Steve's loving it. I mean, if Crazy Steve wanted to face Notorious T.I.D., he could have been out there at the first of this match. Not this match, but at the beginning of the show. When Notorious CID didn't even have an opponent. Where was Crazy Steve then? Crazy Steve's a coward. Crazy Steve doesn't want to face Cody Diener. He's trying to make a mockery on this whole situation. Well, the match wasn't scheduled Crazy Steve versus TID. It was Crazy Steve versus Cody Diener. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Why would you come in here and, and try to uh, mock Cody Diener by doing this ridiculousness? I don't think he realizes he has a shirt on, too. Oh, oh, Crazy Steve now, laying in the punches. Come on now, ring the bell. He's got TID back into the corner now. Like Cody can't even get control of the match. 
Cody's all thrown off his game. No, Jay, you gotta call him TID now. I am not calling him TID. Oh! What is this, Topher Whiteman? It's an assault, that's what it is. Crazy Steve now whipping Diener off the ropes and a Bersaiku knee kick. Diener's hurt. Yeah, he is. Diener's hurt real bad here. He should have kept that face mask on. It might have protected him from that knee well, kick. Well, why wouldn't there. the referee chuckle on him? The referee going for a pinfall still, only getting a one. Steve pulled up Diener's shoulder. What is this with the mask? Come on now. Well, he's got to complete the ensemble. There we go. Come on. He's biting him. Referee doing absolutely nothing about it. The crazy Steve always bites people. I mean, the only thing the referee can do is a five count. Is he tying him up here? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Diener's arms are trapped in his legs, and his legs are trapped underneath Crazy Steve. Now what's he doing? Uh-oh. Now his arms are trapped in his legs, and his legs are trapped in the mat. He's got him turned over. This is ridiculous. It's embarrassing more than anything else. Diener's curled up in the fetal position, wearing TID's gear, and what the hell is that? That's a 10-inch spike. Oh, that'll kill him. Oh, my God. Jay, you better look behind you. You're a marked man now, Jay. Come on. Thank goodness he dropped that spike in the chase. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's my leather jacket! That's my $800 leather jacket that I got in Vegas. It's the infamous Crazy Steve. And the chase is on now. He probably wants your hat and toque as well. Stay away from me! I was just trying to get control Whoa. of all this. Diener out of nowhere! Huge clothesline. Steve That's taking it, a hard Diener. bump on the floor. That's it, Diener, cinching it a little bit. Choking him with the TID t-shirt. Well, why not? Obviously, there's no rules in this match. I'm actually amazed that Cody's choking him with that sweet Cody Diener shirt. Yeah, that's a, what, $20 value? You can get it at your merchandise table. Steve back into the ring here. Big back elbow there. Cody Dino wants to get some revenge from all the embarrassment he got put through earlier in the contest. Well, it's just a matter of time before Cody Dino would take control of the match. I mean, you just don't know how to, uh, how to work with a guy like Crazy Steve. How do you plan for something like this? He doesn't even know who he's facing. There's one thing Crazy Steve is, it's unpredictable. Come on, Diener, lay it in there. Diener off the rose, beautiful elbow. Going for the cover here. It was a rather graceful elbow, you're right. They're definitely not cheering for Cody. They're not that bright, this crowd. I've noticed that. Well, they know what they like, and they like Crazy Steve. 
Diener with a nice vertical suplex. Beautiful vertical suplex. Chinlock had taken the uh, crazy Steve to the mat. Yeah, maybe this is a little uh, receipt from earlier when Steve choked out Dina right at the beginning of this contest. Well, that's not a choke. That's a chin lock. Totally. Oh, right now, it's a, now it's a chin lock, right? Before you were all worried about it being a choke. Well, Crazy Steve doesn't know how to put a move like a chin lock on. He just knows how to choke and be crazy. Cody Deer is a professional wrestler. Listen to these fans. They know what they like, Jay. The Neo fans are always welcome to be vocal about who they like and who they don't like. Well, no doubt about that. They take liberties when it comes to you. <laughs> well, maybe they'll like that. A beautiful clothesline by Cody Diener. But Steve's not looking too good here, Topher. No, Steve was doing good in the first half of this contest, but Diener's really taken over here. So going for a Russian leg sweep. Center of the ring going for the cover. Brian Renda is always out of position. Always out of position. He's right there for it. Dino even waited for Renda to be in position. Exactly, he waited for him. Well, we shouldn't be waiting. Well, it was a fair count, a fair two count. This is a wrestling match. Come on. Now what shirts he grabbing? Is that the Diener shirt? That's the Notorious T.I.D. shirt. Is that one at the merch table as well? I think the Diener prize is a better value. Really? Yeah. Cody's a genius. He's an absolute genius. If he was smart, he'd be going after Crazy Steve, not flaunting with a t-shirt. It's called Mind Games, Topher Whiteman. And Crazy Steve deserves this. Look at that, Steve's gaze is fixed on that t-shirt. Well, he's after Tid's blood, there's no doubt about that, but... It could be a mistake. He's like a dog with a cookie. Wherever it goes, his head follows. He's just fully engulfed in that t-shirt. It's the only thing you can notice. Fixed on it. Look how stupid Crazy Steve is. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be a sucker punch if I've ever seen one. Oh, Steve saw it coming! Come on, let go of his arm. I told you he's not stupid, Jay. No, 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 no. Fight from Crazy Steve. No! And an elbow, and a front elbow, and a clothesline. Beautiful combination there, Crazy Steve. And another clothesline. Come on, let him go, Steve, let him go. And the third one. That's number four. Crazy Steve is a house of fire right now. Got that TID shirt, Notorious. This shirt should be thrown out of the ring. Why would Crazy Steve be throwing it over the face of Cody Diener? Why is the referee letting this happen? Maybe he doesn't want him to see what's coming. His inevitable fate here. Steve's coming off the ropes here. Come on, get that shirt off, Cody. Come on, ref. Let's see, wait, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Oh, T.I.D. is at ringside, and Steve dives on him over the top rope. The dog finally got his cookie. Crazy Steve's all over Notorious T.I.D. here, sending Tin into the ring. Steve, 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 Steve,
Referee being very lenient here. Lenient? He's been lenient the whole match. Well, I'm saying I think he, he's in the Crazy Steve fan club. I'm saying he would have ended the match by now and awarded it to Crazy Steve. Disqualification. Awarded it to Crazy Steve for what? For TID coming down, interfering in their match. Crazy Steve had a shirt in there. He had a mask oh. in there. Well, that's a definite DQ right there. I don't see a DQ. The referee didn't even see it. Well, referee Brian Render was distracted by TID's interference. The referee's always distracted. He's an idiot. Did you hear that? Well, this one's for Rhino. Rhino. Well, we know Cody Diener is going to be facing Rhino on January 26th. Cody's going to give him the guard. He's going to give Steve the guard. As TID watches on. There's yeah. The guard. That's it, Cody. Wow. It's finished. Cody Diener with the guard. Was that a message to Rhino? A message to Rhino. This is Cody Diener, baby. Well, Cody Diener is victorious here over Crazy Steve. Yeah, he's pretty happy about that. Well, Tid's in the ring now. Whoa, what is this? Some kind of rope. I'm taking Cody. I'm getting out of there. I seen that. I was gone. Is that a, looks like a noose. Tied out of rope. That's one heavy duty noose. That rope's got to be an inch and a half thick. I don't like the looks of this, Jay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm covering my eyes. I don't want to see this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I, I, wow. Oh. I can't even believe this is happening. Crazy to see me at home. Hung with the noose. Security in the ring oh, trying to break God. this up. Thank God. That was a scary 10 seconds right there. Crazy Steve hanged in the ropes. Well, even I can't condone that one. We got to get some people down there. Yeah, that was that was a scary moment right there. I mean, we know these guys had a history. A history? This has been going on forever. Steve can't even breathe. We got to get him to the back. Yeah, it's never escalated to this point before. Even you can admit it, Jay. He was trying to kill him. No, this has got to be stopped. I'm not sure that these two could be in the same building together anymore. Something's got to be done about this. Steve has something to say. Strap match. Here comes Tid. He's gonna do it right now. Tid's ready to go right now. see these two face off in a strap match? Well, I don't even know if Neo Wrestling can uh, uh, justify a strap. I mean, a strap match. You know what's involved in a strap match? Oh, I know what a strap match is all about. For those unfamiliar, the two competitors are tied together by a very large, heavy strap. A leather strap. That means you can be choked. That means you can be strapped. I mean, it's, it's craziness. It's vicious. It's a very vicious match. These very vicious. These two need to be kept apart from each other. They don't need to be tied together. A strap match between these two? That would be crazy. <laughs> you all choked up a little bit, huh? So you think you want to have a strap match with me? January 26th, the two of us tied together. Nobody leaves the ring beating you over and over and over the way that I've done up till now. You've gotten away easy. January 26th, two words, you're dead. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Do you really think that I didn't think you were gonna show up, Tid? 
I mean, I screwed you over in November, and here we are in December. Of course, I knew you were going to come, and let me, uh, I gotta say, Tid, you didn't disappoint. You almost tried to kill me, and I couldn't be happier. You see, Tid, that means I've finally gotten you to a point. After all of these months, I've finally gotten you, I've raised you to a level that now I need you to be in. I've raised you to a level that's appropriate enough to do something that we've, we've never done here in NFW. No, in Neo Wrestling Federation has never had a strap match. And you see, Tid, for the first time in my life, I feel, I feel, well, sort of, I'm not really sure what the word is, Tid, but they say that the definition of insanity is to repeat a process over and over and expect the same result. And come our lovely strap match, Tid. I'm going to repeat a process, you see. I'm going to take that strap and I'm gonna wrap it around my hand until my knuckles go white. And with every ounce of my being, I'm going to whip you over and over again. And each time that I do, I'm going to expect you to quit. And if you do not, then I will continue to repeat the process. Tid, January 26th. These people will come here and they will be excited to see the Man Beast Rhino. And they will leave talking about me. I will see you in January. Happy New Year. I liked it. Wow. That was a medley, not a melody. And his opponents coming to us from the mean streets of Psychoville in Psychoville, weighing in at 240 pounds, he is Psycho Mike Rollins.
this guy's character, Jen. Psycho Mike Rollins? I mean, Crazy Steve is crazy, but Psycho Mike... I can't figure Psycho Mike out at all, to be honest with you. I've been trying, I know he's been around, you know, I don't understand the man. Well, he's a rather eccentric fellow. Big guy, lots of charisma. You can't deny he has talent. No, RJ's great. No, no. That was a great song that he had earlier. No, no, no. I was talking about Psycho Mike, nonetheless. Yeah, like I said, that was entertaining. I like this RJ City. Go ahead, you had something to say about Psycho Mike. Go ahead. I, no, I'm I sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm entertained here. I want to talk about Mr. Entertainment. We can talk about RJ City if you want. I mean, he may be brash, he may be a little uh, oh. loud mouth, but he gets the job done. And he's, he is kind of entertaining. You gotta give him credit. Why can't you ever get his name right? I mean, you haven't really been doing a good job this show. You, you screwed up with Crazy Steve. You screwed up with uh, Cody. You screwed up with Notorious T.I.D. I just look at the names and I call them as I know them. I see. Are you reading out of a Christmas card? Did I notice that earlier? Yeah, I was being festive. We are standing by the tree, Jay. Whoa! Psycho Mike throwing RJ City into the corner and look at this. These are vicious chops. Vicious chops. Whipping a reverse now. RJ eating a boot. Psycho Mike coming at him, but RJ had him counter, counter with a drop kick. That was picture perfect. That is entertainment. Psycho Mike didn't even get a chance to get his jacket off, but it looks like RJ City's gonna do it for him. Well, sure, RJ's always glad to help. When are they gonna fire you? Fire me? Fire you! When are they gonna fire you, Jay? I'm gonna wear it other people's clothes. It's the second time we've seen this tonight. It doesn't go as good as the cape does. I mean, that's a stunning cape. You gotta admit it. He does sport the blazer pretty well. You gotta give him some credit. Whoa! Well, Psycho Mike not going down that easily. Well, he took it there, RJ. Wait a minute. Come on, RJ. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. Oh! Eat that, Psycho Mike. Not getting up now. Whoa, wait a minute here. Stun gun type maneuver. And that might be the only way to stop Psycho Mike at this point. Yeah, RJ really stopped and dead in his tracks there with that stun gun. I don't think RJ's fooling around now. He's going to be looking to end this match. No, you gotta take Psycho Mike seriously. I mean, both these guys are real characters, but at the end of the day, one of them has to pin the other or make him submit. Well, RJ's going for the cover right here. Two count only. Psycho Mike manages to kick out. Now, RJ with a chin lock. Which is a smart move at this point, Topher Whiteman. Wear Psycho Mike down. Get some of that wind out of his sails. That might be the only way to take a big man like this down. Yeah, you gotta keep him off his feet. Psycho Mike throws that wild spinning big boot. I don't know if RJ's trying to go for a camel clutch here and just can't get the big man up for it or, or why. I was getting behind Psycho Mike, and he's getting to his feet. The Psycho's hoisting RJ right up here. RJ's in a bad place right now. This is rather impressive. No more for RJ to go, but down at this point. Look at this. What is he doing? Oh! oh he's first on the turnbuckle pad. Oh, look out! 
This could be it right here, Psycho Mike. Oh, what a combination there. Well, I can't believe RJ kicked out of that one. Psycho Mike looking good here. Here comes Psycho Mike off the ropes. Goes to the third kick. RJ Mays is turning around, big knee. And a big clothesline. RJ's got to go for the cover now. Wow, that was a real close call there for Bruno Davis. Getting about 2.9. Well, this is the closest pinfall we've had yet. Oh, Mike's not kicking out that fast. I mean, RJ's been wearing him down. It's been working. It's a tough match to call. Psycho Mike could turn this around right now. Back up on his feet. Here we go. Good night, everybody. His big sleeper hold. Mike resisting, backing him into the corner. Here comes RJ again. Relentless. Really wants to... Knock Mike out. And again. Slapping on good night, everybody. Third time he attempted this. Mike with a back suplex counter. Manages to break it up. RJ in trouble here. Psycho Mike could easily take this. Wait a minute. Oh, Why isn't he going for the cover here? Wait till he puts his do-rag on. His do-rag? That's when he really goes to town. Is that what you kids are calling it now? A do-rag? What would you call it? These two men are trading blows here in the center of the ring. Shot for shot here. Oh, Mike now with a forearm. And another one. Oh. RJ takes the wind out of his sails with that knee. Oh, Mike ducks. Come on, RJ. Come on. Oh, RJ, RJ's begging for Come mercy. on, RJ. Get to the ropes. Oh, he was wow. slapped. Did you hear that? There's another one. That's going to ruin the beautiful looks of RJ City's face. Yeah, Mike's really going to town here. RJ coming over. Whoa! That's it. He's going for the cover. Two and oh. So close. Wow. Wow, I thought it was over right then and there. No doubt about it. This cycle Mike looking very impressive here in this match. Very impressive. This would be a big victory if he can get it on one on uh, RJ City. No doubt about that. Here comes Psycho. Oh, I'm going for it. Oh, RJ counters. RJ going up, going up top. Oh. Mike gets a uh, shot to the gut. And there's that spinning big boot. This one's got to be over. That's it. That's it. RJ getting on the ring. Smart move by RJ City. Yeah, you can't be pinned out there on the floor. And Mike now diving. Wow, right out of the ring onto RJ City. Mike's no small guy. Mike's a very big dude. It's just about curtains for RJ City, no doubt about it. I don't know if he could take much more of this. It's like a Mike throwing RJ right back into the ring. It's got to be going for a pinfall here. Nope. He's going to take it up a notch. The big man's look like he's going to scale a turnbuckle here. He's going right to the top rope on this one. RJ City. Oh! Huge front drop kick. Not too often you see a man that size jump off the top rope. When RJ with a backslide. Man just slide out again. His feet are on the ropes though. His feet. Whose feet? RJ won the match! Here is your winner, RJ City! Unbelievable! RJ City, your winner! Big, big victory over Psycho Mike! Uh, I don't think referee Bruno Davis could see it from his position, but we definitely saw it on our camera. RJ City's feet were both on the middle rope, giving him extra leverage. There RJ City's on. feet is running to the bank with the victory here. No, there's a reason that a rope break a rope breaks a pin because 
it can give leverage, and this is one of those situations. Uh, I don't see a problem here. What's going on? Well, Mike's not too happy. He's trying to show the ref that RJ's foot was on the rope. He's calling me into the ring now. Well, why? He's lost the match. Well, I don't know what more. What more time does he need here? I was entertained by RJ City myself. I could use another song here. What? He asked me to announce him. The winner of this contest is Psycho Mike Rowland. What? He had me announce him as the runner up. Runner up for what? He lost. Second place. Do you know how to do your job? I do. Yeah. Once again, you screwed up. When the big crazy guy tells you to say something, you say it. When the crazy guy tells you to say something, he's wrong again. No, he's right. He did. Winner of the match, RJ City, that's entertainment. Yeah, but Mike was the runner-up. No, 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 no. There's no runner-up in this sport. RJ City, your winner of the match. Well, I think Mike just wanted to stay positive, you know? <laughs> Being that it is the holiday season. Well, you can positively lose. Well, at least now he can tell his friends that he came in second place. He can tell his friends that's entertainment. Yet again, we see you on the camera. I think we see you more often than we see me. And I'm out there the whole show, Jay. Yeah, well, the reason they see me is because, A, I got a lot of business to do at Neo Wrestling Federation. And I'm not a uh, screw up like you are. I'm with winners. You can't even do your job properly. I mean, if you knew what you would be doing, if you knew what you were doing, you'd be talking about textbook Tyson Dukes right now. Best in the business. Well, Tyson Dukes has definitely had a long storied career. But he's not the best here at Neo Wrestling. The best is the Neo Heavyweight Champion, Tiberius King. He's about to make his way to the ring right now. Until Tyson Dukes can beat the man who's about to come through that curtain can't call himself the best. <laughs> Topher. God, you say some ridiculous things sometimes. Do I have to teach you everything? The champ is here, everybody. The Lord of the Bling, Tiberius King. And his belt around that great big bling there, that chain. Well, you know something, Topher, no doubt about it, he's got, he's a cool cat. I, I've always dug uh, Tiberius King, but business is business, and I'm with the best in the business. That's textbook Tyson Dukes. You know the man's a legend. You know the man's been all over the world. It doesn't matter, BCW, Ring of Honor, WWE, TNA, all over Japan. It, the textbook Tyson Dukes is the man. I'm not denying his credentials. Like I said, a long and storied career. He's put a lot of miles on his... Uh, on his air miles, you know what I mean? Champ has fun, but when the bell rings, you know it's all business. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Neo Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, standing in the corner to my right, he is the challenger, being accompanied to the ring by the infamous Jay Moore from Windsor, Ontario. Weighing in at 202 pounds, 
textbook, Tyson Duke. Introduction worthy of a champion. See, I can't do my job. I think I did just a fine job right there, Jay Moore. Well, even Tiberius King had to announce himself. He did. <laughs> didn't have to announce himself. That's just what he does when he comes out. He knows you're going to screw up. You've been screwing up all night. I called him Tiberius King. I've seen him sit back there and cringe every time you get on the microphone. This match for the NWF Heavyweight title is the second time these two have met for the belts. We remember back at some in September at New Wrestling Federation 1, Tyson Dukes finally got rid of that belt he's been calling his that was never a Neo belt to begin with. Well, wait a minute. It was a Neo belt. Well, not an NWF belt. Unrecognized title. You know, that's just the office trying to screw with everybody again. The man's a recognized champion all over the world. But not in the Wrestling Federation. <laughs> he earned his rematch, so these two are facing off for the second time. Well, even in the first time, Tiberius King tapped. I've had footage, I've shown you footage. Well, that's... that's Tyson won the first time. That's what it comes down to, right? It comes down to the office screwing with us. I mean, Tiberius knows. He knows he can't even beat Tyson Dukes. This is textbook Tyson Dukes. Well, say what you want about Tiberius. He's proved himself worthy of being the champion. Well, he is a champion. There's no doubt about it. I mean, we talk about Tiberius uh, tapping out in that match with Tyson Dukes. What about earlier in that match, huh? What about when uh, when he got the three count and the bell rang? And all of a sudden, no, I'm sorry. The match restarts. You know what? You got me on that one. It's over, Whiteman. It's the officiating around here. I've been complaining about it for a long time. These referees don't know what they're doing. They seem to call whatever they want. They're slow on their counts. And Brian Renda, as far as I'm concerned, is a, is a big culprit in all that. Well, we're all prone to making mistakes. Brian Renda, to be honest with you, I'm going to go on record as saying he is the worst referee I've ever seen. Wow. The worst. Really, though? Could I consider him one of the best. Oh, of course you do. The way you are. Mistakes happen, all right? And because of those mistakes, because of the three count, because of the, the tap out, the ref didn't see. Yeah, that's why Tyson has to have this match again. I mean, how many times has Tyson got to go to work here and take that championship without getting screwed around with? These two men have been putting on a click so far on a back and forth chain wrestling between the two of them. And that's the thing about Tiberius King. He's so versatile. I mean, you remember back in the summer, he faced Derek Wilde in a ladder match. It was one of the craziest matches we've ever seen at Neo. I'm not going to argue with that, Topher Whiteman. Uh, T Tiberius King, one thing about Tiberius King is he's been main event for years. For years. When Tiberius King is on the card, you know it's a, a hell of a good show. With both these athletes, very high caliber. And that's what makes this such an intriguing contest. Both these men, very traveled, very experienced familiar with each other. Well, this is what they came to pay to see. I mean, there's a reason that they're battling it for the heavyweight championship here. They're two of the best. And folks, this isn't even our main event. We still have that big street fight for the tag team titles. The Piss Beaters challenge the Italianos.
Look at the condition of Tyson Dukes. Look at the condition of Tiberius King. These two came ready. And they're taking their time with each other. You know, neither one of them wants to make a mistake, right? Oh, and that might have just been right there. A small package. Oh! We were about a half second away from having a new Neo Heavyweight Champion. Listen, Tyson knows. Tyson knows it takes more than that to beat a guy like Tiberius King. But it takes them off their game plan a little bit. Tiberius doesn't know what to do. He bailed out of the ring right away. He's got to regroup, rethink his strategy, and get back in there. Sure, he saw how close he was to losing the belt. Tiberius King knows that when he gets in the ring with a guy like textbook Tyson Dukes, it doesn't go according to plan all the time. Tyson's too smart, he's too quick, he's too athletic. Tyson's a legend. Well, the story of Tiberius King is quite a, quite a long one as well, quite an epic one as well. Tiberius fought for the ownership of Neo in June, took down Danger Boy's regime. Yeah, and it takes quite a man to do something like that. I mean, that's Danger Boy Derek Wilde. Let's face it. Duke's getting the better on uh, Tiberius King here. Yeah, a real test of strength here between these two competitors. The challenger getting a drop toe hold. Now a side headlock applied. The referee's right there in his position, doing his job, as he should be. Well, it's a wear down move, but it is a move that I've seen guys tap right out of. I'm not saying a guy like Tiberius would do that. I mean, there's much more at stake for him. He's going to dig down deep. I'm sure King is quite worried about that J1628. Oh, absolutely he is. Finisher. You know he is. And now trading hard forearms. You can hear the contact of those. Oh! King a little quick on that one. Well, Tyson, huge clothesline. Couldn't take the big man down. And the big man couldn't take Tyson Dukes down. We are trading clotheslines here at the Fight Club. Wow, hard strikes. Neither one of these men wanted to be the first oh, to Oh, this is out. war. This is an absolute war. Oh, tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. What a move from the champ. One, two. Two count only, Tiberius. Or sorry, Tyson Deuce getting out of the ring. Yeah, you're his top client. You want you want to call him Tiberius to his face. This fight's spilling out to the outside now. Oh, pins and submissions don't count on the floor, but count out sure do. Neither man enter, enters the ring before the referee's ten count. This match is over. Oh my god. Wow. Right out here in front of the fans. Well, this is it, baby. This is World War II happening right here for the heavyweight championship. Tiberius throwing Dukes back into the ring now, but Dukes. Wow. Quick to recover. Up. Huge scoop slam. Oh, and an elbow to the small of the back. And another one. You want to talk about a sensitive part of the body, talk about the small of the back. Well, yeah, that's a big man coming down on the small of your back like that. Now going to, a, I would call that a form of a camel clutch. I've never uh, quite seen it quite applied like that. It's a weird chin lock. He needs the mount and the arms hooked to be a camel clutch, but the same idea though, wrenching on the back of the or on the front of the chin to put pressure on the top of the back and the and the neck. Well plus Tiberius still has his knee into the small of the back that he was working on earlier. Of Tyson Dukes. Yeah, the champ doing a good job of 
Oh! Oh, we got a surfboard going on here. It's gonna let Tyson in two like that. Oh, Tyson with a pinfall. It could end right here. No. Two count only. Both men in the corner now. King Whipping Duke's hard into that buckle. Another one. Great way to wear down your opponent, ripping him from buckle to buckle. With authority, Tover Whiteman. Oh, scoop. A backbreaker. Again, targeting that small of the back. And you know every time he works on that back, it gets harder and harder for Tyson to kick out. You need that core strength to move your momentum from your legs to your shoulders. Well, not only to kick out, even to apply some of the submissions that Tyson's used to doing. Oh. Big, big suplex. And it's moves like that that, that just ache on the, uh, on the lower back, that tailbone area and above. Wow, and just stretching Tyson out, just stretching him right out here. With that knee right in the back as well. You might see Tyson quit here. Well, I can guarantee you Tyson's hurt, Tyson's worn down, but I don't think he's ready to quit. Not when the heavyweight championship's on the line. Smart counter there from Tyson. Rather than putting himself on the run, he countered and sent King with like shoulder first right into the mat. Looks like the champ might have a, a hurt shoulder there. There was a, uh, oh, and now another kick right there. That takedown there looks like a wrench of the shoulder of Tiberius King. They're just pounding on each other here. Tyson trying to go for a, a body slam. Oh, and now King, huge backdrop. His shoulders hurt. We know Tiberius had a history of shoulder injuries. You want to talk about something that's going to prevent you from kicking out? Well, Dukes' back is hurt. I mean, he couldn't even pick up Tiberius for a body slam earlier. Yeah, both these men feeling the wear and tear of this contest. Well, I'm sure they knew that going in. These guys have been working out. They look at the shape that Tyson's in. He knows he's at war here. He knows Tiberius isn't going to let go of this that easy. Oh, and a knee now to the arm. Imagine the pain that Tiberius King is going through right now. That arm bar applied. He's going to be real easy pickings for the J1628. <laughs> King's in a rough place right now. He might tap here. Okay. Oh, the, cr the crowd's getting behind him. He's getting that energy. Feeding off the fans here at Neo Wrestling. King making it back now, sending Tyson in the corner. Tyson coming out, reversing King going into the corner. Flip over the top rope. Oh! Wow, that was a knife edge shot right there. The Tiberius is on the outside of the ring. Looks like he's gonna bring him in the hard way, over the top. I don't know, if, I don't know if Dukes can do this. Dukes has a bad back right here. This might not be the smartest thing. Well, it's a high-risk maneuver indeed. As King goes to work on the ch the stomach and the jaw. Come on, Dukes. 
He's trying to knock Tyson off the ropes. Dukes just will not die. He will not die. Oh, He's a, a machine. Whoa. Tiberius trying to get up to the top rope here. Coming off with, whoa, oh, look at that. It, sunset flip. Whoa, this is what he finished with. Oh. Kick away Tyson Dukes. Dukes right back up on his feet. Here comes Tiberius King. Oh, big charge into the corner. Oh, he couldn't get the bulldog in there, his arm. And now Tyson Dukes. The victim of a sit-out spine buster from Tiberius King. Wow. And, oh, but look at this. Look at this, Tyson. Tyson trying to pop that shoulder. I mean, Tiberius King has a history of shoulder separations. Yeah, that reverse armbar will definitely do it. Oh, King rolls through, gets to the ropes. Great ring presence there from Tiberius. You're not too happy about it, Jay. Wow. Well, I'm sure you have a lot invested in this match, Jay. I'm sure you well, have absolutely. Tyson I, I, you know, there's a lot of money in a big match like this. I mean, it's Tiberius King, it's textbook Tyson Dukes. It's the Neo Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. And he goes for the Bulldog oh, he, second time. And he gets it. the Bulldog that time, and Tiberius going for the cover. Tyson still had it in him to get the shoulder up. Breaking that pin up. Tiberius getting the support of these fans. I mean, these two are giving it their all. They're all. Oh, you can see the Royal Flush here. There's Tyson Full Nelson. Whoa, what is this? Oh! Back suplex, German style. Tiberius to his feet in a boot. And what's Tiberius going for? Oh, Tyson again, right to the arm. Going for a body slam. Oh. And delivers. That's got to do a little bit of damage to Tyson Duke, so. Well, yeah, that's small in the back. I mean, you use that when you're lifting. Tyson Duke, though, going to the top rope. Could this be it? What he's setting up for here, I don't quite know. Tiberius making his way to his knee. Whoa, look out. Trying to take him down. He's still going to... Battle on the ropes again. Such a precarious position. Well, we're setting up here for a superplex. No. What is Tiberius King doing here? Oh, is this going to be a T-bone? Oh, no, no, no. Off the top rope. No. What a move there from Tiberius. I mean, Tiberius even looks out of it. Come on, Deuce, come on. I'm trying to make sure Tyson's even all right. What's going on? Is he answering me? Well, both these guys have to the referee's 10 count to get to their feet. Otherwise, it'll be a no contest, but both men are up now. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my Tyson god. Oh my god. Right on his head. This one's over. No, 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 no. Tyson kicked out. He got his shoulder up. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Whew. I gotta give Tyson Dukes credit for that one. This is a match, baby. This is what the Neo Wrestling Federation is all about. Various now, big vertical suplex. Oh, the Falcon Arrow! Go for the pin. cover! Wow! How is Tyson Dukes kicking out of this? And here comes Tiberius King, ready to go. Oh, he went for the Royal Flush again. Tyson countered. Oh! oh boot to the midsection. 
Swing him up for a suplex. Look at this. Oh, brain buster. Come on, go for that cover. Come on, come on. Come on, referee. Oh. King still getting the shoulder up. Unreal. I mean, a brain buster. You're going right on the back of your head and your shoulders. Look at this. Oh, come on, Tyson. Come on. Get him over. Unbelievable power there. Tyson Dukes going for the cover. One, two, three. He got him. He got him. I think the ref put his. No, I think he put. I think King put his foot up on the rope. Put his foot's up on the rope now. You don't believe it? Tyson Dukes is your new Neo Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion. Look at it. I manage a champ. I manage a champion of the Neo Wrestling Federation. Textbook Tyson Dukes. We did it. You lost World War II, Tiberius King. I don't know what to say. I mean... I know what to say. Say it. Do your job for once in this broadcast. Say it. It looks like Tyson Dukes is your new NWF heavyweight champion. But I mean, if you could call the instant replay department, I think that Tiberius' foot was on the ropes. I mean, rewind the tape if you have to, but I guess there's, that's the final decision of the referee. This is history. Uh, this is a This is history. This is Hardcore Holiday Championship title match for the Neo Wrestling Federation and a title change and your champion is textbook Tyson Dukes. This is a great, great day for the Neo Wrestling Federation. This is, this is a controversy right here. A controversy for what? It's just like Tiberius said himself, sometimes a lucky ball bounces your way. Well, not today for Tiberius King. Look at him. This is what we work for. And that's why he's the legend. He's textbook Tyson Dukes. Tyson, we did it. We yeah. did it. I knew you would do it. The champ is here. You know something, Tiberius King? You think you're cool. You've been coming out show after show. They don't care. We don't care about anything going on. We just care that we got the belt. And the greatest wrestler in the world's got it right now. Textbook Tyson News. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it anymore, Tiberius. You lost World War II. You lost big time today, baby. What, what's left to say? What's left to do? You're the greatest. The new year has been wrong in. <laughs> and the new year is a good year. Jay Moore. Yeah. You are the man. We got the goal. I love you, Tyson Dukes. Love you, Jay Moore. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's roll. Let's party. Let's party. You're the king of Neo. Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. The Italianos. I'm excited for this one, Jay. How about you? Hey, how many street fights have the Italianos been in? A lot. The one in recent memory that comes up is the one they had with Body Count last year. Italiano's definitely popular with these fans here. Oh yeah, this is their city, no doubt about it. This is where the Italianos were born, baby. The Neo Wrestling Federation. This is their hometown, this is where they hang out, this is where they live.
They're the tag team champions right now. Sick off. Sick off. You have a fractured knee. Do not do this match. I'll do it alone if I have to. It's not worth your health in the long run. Alright? You fractured your knee. Two weeks ago in Cuba. Do not do this match. I'm doing this match tonight. Not for just me, not for you, for the old man, for everyone that comes here every month that supports me. I'm gonna whack both those piss beaters' asses tonight, and I'm gonna end both their careers. Think about, think about the long run. Think about the long run. Care about the long run. I'm gonna whack both their asses and set them to the Niagara River tonight. Whoa. This is a serious match for him. He wants to compete. The stickball is always ready to go. So is Primo Scardino. But he can't. Like, I mean, he's hurt. This is, this is a true story. Well, stickball got hurt out in Cuba. Oh, here comes James Ponce, executive vice president of the Neo Wrestling Federation. Are we going to get a managerial decision on this? A lot of the boys not happy with this guy, I'll tell you that. I'm not. Well, he makes the rules around here. We're going to see what he has to say to Stickball. He's not telling Stickball what's going on. He can't even turn the microphone on. Stickball. We got it going. I've known you for a long time. These fans here have watched you for Neo for a long time. If you do this tonight, your career ends tonight. I cannot allow that. The doctors in the back will not allow that. Matt, you can't do this. I will not allow it. Neil will not allow it. I spoke with Primo earlier today, and he knows the options. The options are, you forfeit the titles. I knew that. Primo has two options. He wrestles a two-on-one handicap match, or he gets another partner. They want to see Stickball and Stickball. Well, of course they want to see Stickball. It's your knee. I mean, we're not we're not joking here, guys. He legitimately fractured his knee two weeks ago. His leg is legitimately messed up. One wrong move, and he loses his leg. He's in a wheelchair surgery. Let's just look towards the future. I'll go two on one tonight. Two on one street fight. Let's do it. Wow, Primo stepping up for his partner. Please, you know you can't wrestle. This is a tough one for Stickball to accept. But he's going to have to trust his partner in this one. Well, I can't believe it. That takes a lot for Tony Carboy to walk away from this. And let me tell you something. It's not because James Ponce says so. It's because Primo Scardino is capable of doing a job like this on his own. But then again, this is the piss beaters we're talking about here. Oh, he's going to have his hands full, that's for sure. His hands full. The piss beaters are one of the toughest tag teams in the business right now. Now this is as dirty as they come. Anthony Darko, Jake O'Reilly, these guys are what they say they are. They are the piss beaters. Wow, and Jake O'Reilly just 
broke that hockey stick with one smash. Did you know he was Jean-Claude Van Damme's sparring partner? I announced it, Jay. Of course I know. And you know because I announced it. I mean that, no, I know because Jake O'Reilly's a friend of mine. I see. He, he let me watch him spar with Jean-Claude. He let you watch? Well, it cost me a case of beer, but he still let me. I mean, that O'Reilly can drink. He's crazy. He's as crazy as they come. You think crazy Steve and Psycho Mike are crazy. If Jake O'Reilly's got that Irish blood, which is meant for two things, drinking and fighting, and, uh, you know, that's what the piss beaters do. They fight. Wow. Anthony Darko, his tag team partner, is from Broad Street, Philadelphia. You ever walk down Broad Street, Philadelphia? Can't say I've been. I know you haven't because there's no way they would have, you know, left you alive. I can see that. Topher Whiteman walking down Broad Street, Philadelphia. Yeah. Well, this match for the tag team titles really isn't a tag team match. It's falls count anywhere, it's a street fight, and it's two on one. Well, this is what these guys are all about. I mean, both tag teams, Primo going right down now. Well, yeah. It's Big shot to the back of the head by Jake O'Reilly. It would be one thing if the Piss Beaters were tagging in and out, and this was a tag team match, two on one. But this is a street fight. This is anything goes. They could use weapons. This is anything goes, and you know, Primo is no, no stranger to a street fight. We all know that. But the piss beaters is as tough as they come. And I mean, these guys can street fight, these guys can wrestle, these guys have won every major tag team championship across Ontario. They could be the best tag team in Canada right now. Well, I know they've had their sights set on the Neo Tag Gold for oh, almost a year now. At, well, at least a year now. How long have we been seeing the piss beaters and the Italianos feuding over these tag belts. Well, it could, it could come to an end right here. I mean, I don't know if Primo can do this. I don't know if Primo, I mean, with no rules, both guys are allowed into the ring. Anything goes, you know. I don't know that Primo can do this, but hey, give it up to Primo. I mean, the guy's as tough as they come. He ain't gonna go easy, that's for sure. Yeah, that Italian blood keeps Primo going. We've seen Primo take a licking and keep on ticking. I mean, the Piss Beaters wouldn't be at this point if Stickball was in this match, let's face it. Well, no, the odds would be even. It would be two on two. Well, Stickball's a tank. This really is not a fair contest. This is just a double team assault. And it's legal. I mean, the Piss Beaters are the well, former tag team like champions. Look at this. This they could be the beginning of the end. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Sean Spears? It is. Sean Spears coming out here. Sean Spears getting involved in the match. Is he going to be the tag team partner? I mean, James Ponce did say that. It could be a tag team. Well, it looks like he's at least coming to give Primo a hand. Well, he's scooping up O'Reilly into a body slam. Oh, a huge stomp there to the side of the head. O'Reilly's reeling from it. O'Reilly not sure where he's at right now. Caught, caught, caught off guard as Sean Spears entered the ring. And going into the Death Valley driver real early right here. Uh oh, look at Darko. Darko, double axe handle. Spears was wide open for it. Referee Bruno Davis, obviously, I guess Spears is in this match at this point. Looks like it. Primo coming to help him out. Now the odds are even. Well, now the tables have definitely turned here. I mean, Sean Spears, one of Neo Wrestling's finest, coming into this match. And they're both been up in opposite corners. Ten punches for each man. They're going to shove the beaters together here. Oh! Look out. Collision in the center of the ring. O'Reilly right over the top rope and onto the floor. Darko on the other side. Chris Peters cleared the ring. The clear of the ring. And Spears and Primo Scardino taking center stage here. Primo going right after O'Reilly now with the hockey stick. Oh. So does this make Sean Spears an Italiano now or what? 
You think Sean Spears is an Italiano? Well, he's competing on behalf of the Italianos. An honorary one for the night. Oh, Primo. Sitting right into the table. Ruining our nice tablecloth. You can tell I'm nowhere near there. Do you think they give a damn about your tablecloth, Topher Whiteman? This is a street fight. I kind of give a damn about it. I expected this kind of thing to happen in this match, though. Knowing that falls count anywhere, I knew it could be all over. Whoa, the Darko oh. throwing Sean Spears right into the post there. And Spears could be in trouble real early as he entered this contest. He's not looking too good right now. No, he smashed his arm real good there. Off that whip to the buckle. Oh. And now on the other side, Primo and Jake O'Reilly fighting on the ramp. Primo choking him. I mean, it's anything goes like you say here. And these crazy fans here at Neo Wrestling Federation are eating this one up. Yeah, they're getting their money's worth tonight. They love this kind of stuff. Oh, and now another security guard being assaulted. Being assaulted? He seemed to grab O'Reilly there. I don't know what he was thinking about. O'Reilly doesn't give a damn about the security guard. Here goes the security guard right here. Oh, what's he doing? Come on. He's going to throw him right in the ring, I think. No! He's picking him up for a pile driver oh. onto the floor here. That's it. Has he lost his mind? Jake O'Reilly has lost his mind. And now Anthony Darko assaulting security on the other side by our merchandise area. Jake O'Reilly head first into the steel ramp, though. Look at Darko. Oh, Spears. Oh, Spears. We've seen this. Oh! Action all over the place here. Who does Sean Spears think he is? Spitting water in the face of Anthony Darko? And then blowing his nose on him? Oh! Darko pulling the Spider-Man here. And he's climbing the top of the cage. He's climbing the top of the octagon. Yeah, the Fight Club's also an MMA school. And Primo's already in the octagon. Oh, Primo with the right hand. A big right hand there. And he's, oh, he's not sending Darko. No. Oh, into the cage. Into the cage and Darko's hurt. Darko's down. Darko's in the center of the octagon here. These guys are going MMA here at Hardcore Holiday. Oh, and into the other side. Have you ever seen a street fight in the octagon? No. What a match this has been. New Wrestling Federation's Hardcore Holiday. I don't know. My monitor's out. I don't know where Sean Spears is. I don't know where Jake O'Reilly is. Darko smashing his head there off the sign, breaking our logo. This is out of control. This is absolutely out of control. What did you expect, Jay, when you heard Piss Beaters Italiano Street Oh, I, I knew this was going to be a street you fight. I knew this was going to be a war. Absolutely not. Oh, they're dangerously close to the door there. It's December. I don't want to see this match go outside. I have a camera. He picked up Sean Spears and Jake O'Reilly. They're center in the ring now. And Primo and Dark will still out on the concrete floor there. Rake to the eyes by Anthony Darko onto uh, Primo. And Spears has Jake O'Reilly in the ring here. Primo's made his way to the bar. Yeah, these guys are fighting everywhere here. We don't even have security anymore. The Piss Beaters have beaten the security what, yet again. I mean, the Piss Beaters beating every security guard that this company's had. We get new ones every month. Oh, this doesn't look good here. The Piss Beaters are one on top of the other. Wait a minute. And Spears is telling Primo to go to the top? Oh, I've, I've seen this before. You gotta go, what's up? Oh, oh my, my god. god. A leg drop. Oh my god. Oh. This is crazy. And it's co perfectly legal, as you said. No disqualifications. Leg drops to the groin are perfectly fine in this match, as legal as a headlock.
Spears going up top now. Here comes O'Reilly. O'Reilly's got to hold his Spears. Here comes Darko now. No, Big right hand. O'Reilly's going to be the one to get double teamed here. What is Darko doing? Take a look at this. I've seen him do this before. What? This is crazy. A double submission of the ropes. And it's a submission hold. Spears is ask, being asked if he's quitting. I'd quit in that position right there. Here comes Primo, oh, though, Primo. with a big drop kick on O'Reilly. Spears falling to the floor now. Darko up onto the top rope. Oh, big drop kick there from Darko. Darko always has that. We can have new tag champs. Pure ring presence. Darko always knows where he's at. Well, Anthony Darko, the smaller man of the piss beaters, definitely makes up for what he lacks in size, in skill. Well, you got that right. Oh, and nobody home for the senton. Riley grabbing Primo here, picks him up, big body slam. Scoop slam. Darko kicking Spears out of the way. What are the piss beaters got playing here? What is this? Senton. Oh. oh, what a hard landing. That's got to be the end of Primo right there. There's definitely some ribs broken there. Oh, that's over 400 pounds. Right on the abdomen of Primo Scordino. Spears is hurt on the outside of the floor. What's Darko setting up for? Is this a figure four? What's going on? No. Oh, again to the abdomen. I'm still. I'm sure Primo is still catching wind. Well, I'm expecting Primo to have some broken ribs on that move. No doubt. A drop kick, taking Spears off the apron again to the floor. Isolate one man. Because you only need to pin one person to win the match. And now the referee's down, so it doesn't even matter who gets pinned. Well, the Piss Beaters are definitely taking control of this match here. Sean Spears is hurt on the outside of the floor. Darko. Primo Scordino's hurt. Darko with a neck breaker. Now what's O'Reilly doing? He's going to powerbomb him. Whoa! On to Primo. Going for the cover. One. Referee in position. Jake O'Reilly just has his eyes in the back of his head. He's watching. He knows whenever Spears is getting in. Now what's O'Reilly going for? He's going for, He's a, going chair. for a chair. Jake O'Reilly is a chair. Darko is a chair now. Darko. Send the chair right into Spears. Keep his Spears on the outside of the ring. Yeah, chairs are dangerous weapons. Those steel bars hurt. And the handles make it pretty easy to swing. Well, the piss beaters know how to swing a chair. I can guarantee you that. They're not afraid to use that. This is a street fight. Look at all the chairs in the ring. No. Or could this be the Dark AO? Onto a chair. He set him up for it. O'Reilly coming in now. Oh, Dark AO. There That's it is. That's it. The Piss Beaters are looking to finish off the Italianos. Yeah, they're going to win the tag belts here if they get a pinfall. Oh, so close to having new tag team champions. O'Reilly not happy with the referee count on that one. Spears pulling O'Reilly out. Spears back in the ring now. Spears setting up Anthony Darko for the Death Valley driver. Big Spear of Destiny. Oh, but Darko gets out of it. Oh, and a spinning forearm. Whoa. Oh, right in the gonads. Setting him up again. That's it. Spear of Destiny it goes for the cover. Two. Darko kicks out. How did he kick out of the Spirit of Destiny? I mean, this fight's gone everywhere. These guys fought in the cage. They were fighting the merchandise table, in the crowd. And after all that, Darko still kicks out. Jake O'Reilly's not happy. No, not at all. You could say he's one pissed beater. 
I like that, Topher. You do? I thought you wouldn't. Alright, I don't. That's better. Waist lock. Double reversal. Never thought I'd say that in a street fight. German suplex. And he hangs on. He's going for another one. All the spears again. Slips through. Back suplex. And he hangs on. Oh. But O'Reilly landing those Catching elbows. Catching an elbow right into the back of the neck. And now that back suplex leaves it open. Oh, and another German suplex with the bridge. Spears trying to get to a road. Spears trying. Oh, Spears manages to block it now. Another reversal and another back suplex. Wow, and this is going to take so much out of both men. Going back and forth here with these suplexes. Oh! Big slap, and then returns it. Whoa! Spears with a one-finger salute, and sends him face first into that chair in between the turnbuckles. Spears is a It's the masked man! The masked man! What's he doing here? He's been after Sean Spears for months. Well, Spears has his hands on that pipe. We might find out who this masked man is once and for all. No! Spears going to work on the masked man. Oh, he's hanging. He's got the mask. Oh, here comes O'Reilly. Oh, mystery. And here comes the pipe. Oh. He got the pipe in the side of the head. What a shot there with that pipe. As the masked man looks on. Well, that definitely knocked Sean Spears right out of this contest. Spears is unconscious. Yeah, you try, you try taking a lead pipe to the head. Oh, Darko with a DDT. This could be over here. It could be over right here. O'Reilly with the chair. Is O'Reilly going to go for the cover now, or is Darko? Darko picking up the chair. Referee's trying to get Sean Spears back. Back to get looked at. Sean Spears is out of this match. Sean Spears got knocked with the lead pipe by the masked man. Masked man has disappeared, and Sean Spears is out of the match. We're gonna have to get an update on Sean Spears. Oh! oh big chair shot there to the back. I don't know how much Primo has left in him. Well, Primo's been in this match 20 minutes now. Primo's been in the octagon. Primo's been Beat, he's dished it out, he's done it all. Oh, we could see this pile driver onto two chairs. Oh, this will be really bad. Oh! Primo he's done. He's done. his brains. <coughs> I can't even talk. I'm under breath over White Man. I can't believe what's going on here. Oh my god! Stickball is Stickball's back. Here. Stickball wants to fight. He doesn't no. give a damn about James no. Ponser. No, he's in it. He's in it right now. And the piss beater's on top of Stickball. Oh, this is bad. No, Stickball's not in, in, in condition to compete. No, this, no. They're setting him up here. Oh, counters the back body. Stickball better get the hell out of there, I'll tell you that. Stickball's getting a table. He's setting up the table. Is he gonna put Darko through it here? He's got Darko. Oh my God, this is it right here. No. Oh, jeez Louise. Jeez Louise! Darko just got driven through that metal table! By stickball Tony Carboni! Oh! The force of that power bomb! With one leg! Stickball! And Primo's now Primo's got a roll up package. here! I think Primo got a. He got a three count on that one! Yes, he did! Primo got a roll up in it.
What a win there for Primo and Stickball. As Darko's laid out through a table. Well, Darko's done. Sean Spears is done. They're, they're, uh, Primo's injured. This has not been a good night for any of these participants. Oh, but can you believe it? Tony Carboni. Well, Tony Carboni really dished it out. I mean, he finished off Anthony Darko. Anthony's hurt. He can't even stand up right now. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, oh O'Reilly he cuffed him right in, the, right in the head. Yeah, he doesn't need security as help. He can help his tag team partner on his own. But what a win there for the tag team champions. We got to get an Italianos. update on Spears. Yep. I got to get an update on Sean Spears. What a win in 2012 here. The Italianos triumphant with the tag team titles. Hardcore Holiday Street Fight, baby. Neo Wrestling Federation. Wow, what a show. I still can't believe Stickball competed with a bad knee. Never mind that. Textbook Tyson Dukes is your new Neo Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion. I couldn't ask for a better Christmas gift. Well, folks, our next show is January 26th, 2013, back at the Fight Club in Niagara Falls. We hope to see you all down there, but in the meantime, have a Merry Christmas, everybody, and a Happy New Year. He's I been to ECW, he's been to WWE, and he's been to TNA. But on Saturday, January 26, 2013, Rhino is coming to Neo Wrestling. I'm here with Cody Diener. Cody, Executive Vice President James Ponce has already made the announcement. Rhino's first opponent at Neo Wrestling Federation is you. Cody, January 26th, are you ready for the Man Beast? You want to talk about Rhino? Rhino! You want me to talk about Rhino right now? In my interview, I'm supposed to talk about Rhino. He's your opponent. Jay! Why, why would you do Jay. something like that? Why would you come on here and ask me? You know how he gets. He's the greatest thing ever. He's from TNA. He's a big superstar. Rhino? Rhino? Look at the shirts we're selling. Cody Diener shirts. $20 at the table, man. Come on, Cody. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. You know you're the best. You know you're the greatest. You know you're the man at the Wrestling Federation. Rhino? Rhino? <laughs> What's Rhino do? What's Rhino do? Oh. He, he does the, the, the gore. Gore. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. I'll talk about Rhino. I'll Don't talk about talk, Rhino right after talking about your stupid little mustache. <laughs> Rhino, you're not gonna give me the gore, gore, gore. No way. You know why? Because I got Dumb. Jay Moore. Yeah, Moore. Yeah. Moore. That's right. And that's what we need. Listen, you guys shut up for a second. Because right. I gotta say this, because this is really cute. Because I got Jay Moore, Moore, Moore. After I beat you, I'm gonna go home and celebrate. And I'm gonna eat a s'more, s'more, s'more. And I'm gonna sleep with my wife. But she's not a whore, whore, whore. Whoa. Cody! So Cody. in January, Rhino, Cody Dieter's gonna settle the score. 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 Yeah. I'm beating you, Rhino. I'm beating you in January. Because I'm the best. That's right. He's the best. He's the that best in the world. That was cute, wasn't it? That was cute. Yeah. Let's go, Cody. Come on. You're the greatest. Greatest in the world. Cody Dina. Cody Dina and Rhino, January 26th. Check out NeoWrestlingFederation.com for more.